guys. Um, I've decided that uh, after some contemplation and uh, me and my wife sitting down and figuring out priorities, I've come to the realization that I have been obsessed a little bit with this. So I'm going to cut back some. Not, I'm not going to be doing be out in the field two and three days a week which hurts both my family and my cabin and my job so I'm gonna be going out once I'm gonna try to film once a week you know, at least one video a week uh, and as far as the responses go and the, the comments uh, don't don't get upset if I don't answer you back because I'm I get overwhelmed sometimes and I'll do it until you know 12 o'clock at night sometimes answering and I'll I'll get to all of you but I'm just gonna do it in a slower way I don't I need to get this cabin finished I need to create time for my wife and my kids and I can't risk you know their time with me so I've taken a week and a half off uh, to think about it to ponder what's important and and my wife she thinks as long as we as long as we slow down the filming it will be okay I was ready to walk away as a matter of fact a week and a half ago I was done done it wasn't worth it to me I just I was ready to walk away. And the only thing that kept me going a little bit is you guys saying, where is he? Is he okay? You know, that kind of thing. But anyway, that's where we're at. Um, I just wanted to let you know, this, this, this video is an awesome video. It's, uh, it's me in a ghillie suit. Um, and it shows you how fast, how very fast, I can disappear and I'm no Sasquatch so um, just go ahead and enjoy all right my whole point in doing this is to show that if, if I can disappear within that short period of time they can disappear um, so, I think that's conclusive proof that they can hide. I mean, that's a camouflage ten times better than what I've got on. Um, plus, they, I'm sure they know which ways the cat, which ways the shadows fall, um, the way the sun reflects off certain trees and bushes and. I mean, it wouldn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Um, but I do believe they just blend. It almost looks like, you know, the predator. But anyway, I just, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I actually didn't think I would blend as well as I did. That was kind of, that was pretty, pretty crazy. That means you could, they could be five feet from you, you'd never see them. So, anyway, this is my little ghillie suit presentation to show that they can be on you and you don't even know it. Okay, here we go.
see. All right. This is my uh, presentation on why and how I believe the Sasquatch can hide into anywhere. Um, this is my ghillie suit that I've used duck hunting and stuff in the past. And just this alone, which isn't even really that great of a ghillie suit, um, I disappear right into the the wood line. I will weave and back and forth and you rarely see me unless I'm coming to get the camera and if you aren't paying attention not a chance in hell will you see me. Um, and then you imagine a, a being that has hair, not fur, hair, as long as some of this gilly stuff, okay? Hair that's gonna break up your outline, that's gonna that's gonna if it's a, if it's dark you would never see them um, even if it's not dark uh, they would know which trees to hide behind which will depending on if they're darker or lighter um, and maybe that has something to do with the area that they that they've um, adapted to I don't know all I know is if I can hide with this who t who knows what they could do I mean, we're not talking about an elk or a deer, a mountain lion with limited intelligence. We're talking about something that's highly intelligent um, with the capability of disappearing. I mean, you, you could actually go in with a group and hunt one of these things, okay? You could go in and hunt, but you're in their area. They're going to know exactly where to go, exactly where to hide, exactly how to manipulate you, and nobody would see them. I'm completely convinced of this. Um, Navy SEALs, for example, they're really, really good at hiding. Um, snipers, hiding. Um, but we don't hold a candle to what they can do. Um, if anything, in this whole thing, I've learned to appreciate what they do have. I mean, I, I just, I sometimes have to take a step back and think, how in the hell do they do that? Or why do they do this? And now I see why. Um, if anything, it's, it's furthered my understanding of what they are and what they do um, do I know everything about them not 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 even close um, do I know why they're here no I don't um, but one thing I have began to understand is how they hide and how they manipulate their environment to work for them not for us um, they don't have to be as far away as I used to think that they had to be for us not to see them. A matter of fact, if we come walking up a trail and one just stands behind a tree and stops, you can't see it. Your eyes cannot find it because the only way you're going to see that is if it turns and looks you in the eye. At that point, you might be able to see it. Um, as far as uh, in different areas like uh, um, thick ponderosa or fir trees and that kind of thing, you know, I think the same coat or the same hair could adapt to almost any environment. I think, I think, uh, I don't know about that. I, I don't know how that works, but. Um, I do believe after some of this that I've seen and wondered and trying to put my finger on and trying to film on, um, I'm beginning to see why it's so difficult. Um, they could, you could be setting a tree cam up in a tree and they'd be behind the next tree over and you wouldn't even know they were there. Um, and I know a lot of people say, oh, there's odor and it stinks and you know, you'd be able to smell them. I don't, I don't think so. And if that is the case, then that's, they're leaving that odor 
as a mechani mechanism for them to, to, I don't know, to leave um, or distract. But I guarantee you they don't always make that smell. And I still don't know how that plays into this whole thing. I don't know what good that has to do with anything. I, just, I still don't understand that. Um, but a lot of people have, have smelled it. I've even smelled things that were weird. But I don't think if it's close to you, it's, it's, it's releasing pheromones or scent glands to distract you. I, I think that may be a young one in fear or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they would have those glands and we wouldn't. Um, but why do they have the hair and we don't? Um, so it's hard to say. All, I'm, all I wanted to prove today was how good they are at hiding in their own environment. Um, and that's, that's pretty much, I, I, I'm, I'm actually about uh, five miles away from where I filmed a lot of those structures. Um, I didn't want to drive and hike all the way back in there, so this is all I'm going to do with, do for today. So anyway. Okay. Okay, this is this is an old mine uh, habitation or or homestead. I've seen this a couple other times, but it's cool. Let's see the old pieces of tin. Seeing that. I don't know what that is, but probably some kind of a burial. I don't know. And then that's a cool piece of pot. <laughs> and then there's this old thing over here.
I'm not sure what that is. See, there's the old fence that they used to keep in their livestock or horses, whatever they had. Um, the thing is, this little place is just, it's just falling apart. Eventually, we're not ever going to even have these kind of things to look at. Just sad. Some kind of a homestead type. Tiny, though. cool. A bunch of rocks right there too, stacked on top of each other. I don't know what that is. I think there's something else over here. Can you imagine being in the heat? And trying to live in that going up to your up to the mine and working all day and then coming back in the heat and I'm not positive that's a mining house that may have been an old homesteader but I doubt it Cool to find an old wagon wheel. Probably get bit by a rattlesnake over here. Hmm. Do they still run cattle down through all this area? Look at that, some kind of a wall. Here that thing is, man. Hmm. I know some of you don't really care about this kind of stuff, but I, I do. I think it's cool. An old hinge. Hmm. Probably the corral at one point. Okay, and there's another rock pile. They may be dugouts. I don't know. I'm not sure why you'd ever dig out something in this area, but that's kind of what they look like. Hmm. Pretty cool. Oh, I didn't see that before. Kind of a, almost looks like a wagon bench. Huh. Pretty cool. the homestead it looks like it's falling down since I've been here last time it's private property but I know who the owner is and he, he's told me I can come on here so he's a good guy um, 
Look how they built this. Ow. Look at this. Ooh. Tell you what. You have to be a little careful. What would be cool is if you could find a sack of gold down underneath one of those things, you know? Look at that. Might have been the bedroom. I mean, that is just really crude, but cool. I don't know why you'd ever use I don't know what that's for. It's like it's like canvas. I guess they just added this part later. I'm not sure. But I thought it was pretty cool. No point in getting a metal detector out here because there's 5,000 nails. More. Huh. A lot of lizards too. This side kind of blotched it in there with mud. I mean, that's just mud. That's not even any kind of a mixture. These old houses are pretty cool. They're old homesteads. Big old rat nest over there. Be cool if. Saw a little sparkle and there was a big old nugget of gold in there, wouldn't it? That would never happen for me. And this is what I, I mean, I guess, I don't know what this is. I don't know. Oh, something to come out. It's just strange. You know? Putting the rocks on there so it doesn't continue to fall down. But it's, it doesn't have too much longer. And it's going to be on the ground. old mining camp or homestead see they dug this out parts of beds springs old, there's not much left on this one old pieces of tin Pretty crazy. Huh. It sure was a homestead. Always wanted to come look. And I never do. So here we go. Hmm. It goes all the way out in there. Crazy. Don't want to get nailed by a rattlesnake though. Like a 
grave. Oh, it's been, or chimney, I don't know. But those, are, those rocks like that aren't normal. Anyway, came across this. Look at those sticks down in that, in that little valley looking thing and that pile of dirt on that side. That looks like a grave to me. And what's weird is there's wood. This is down close to the valley. Um, but that right there makes no damn sense. Kind of makes me nervous. I don't want to dig and find anything. Anyway, I thought it was weird. Here's another one. That is similar, not as long, but it's been dug out. Doesn't make any sense. 